Hello everyone, it's Yvette with Polished After 60. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So, today's video is a request from Maria, and it has to do with varicose veins and bruising and how we can go about um, camouflaging them. So, wait just a second and I will be right back. Alrighty, hold on. Alrighty guys, I am back. Um, welcome back to my channel, all of my wonderful subscribers. Um, I thank you all for all your lovely comments. Donna, thank you so much for your recent comments to me. You guys know how much, um, how much you mean to me, right? So, if you happen to be stopping by for the very first time, my name is Yvette and my channel is all about tips for the more mature women. So those of us who are age 60 and above. And I go through fashion, beauty, lifestyle, hopefully travel soon for the more mature lady. So those of us who are 60 and older, if you think you'd be interested, please consider subscribing to my channel. So on to today's topic. Maria sent me a message asking me if I could um, consider doing a video on how to camouflage uh, varicose veins and any kind of bruising that you might have, alrighty? And so that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. Now, before I start the video, I would like to say that, ladies, if you're having any type of bruising or issues that you aren't quite sure what the problem is, please consider um, going to your doctor and checking into it, right? Because it's all well and good that we camouflage, but if there's a problem, we want to make sure um, make sure that uh, there isn't anything serious going on, right? So ladies, please consider going to your doctors. So anyway, um, Maria said to me, I believe, that she was having problems finding a concealer to camouflage her varicose veins and her bruising, all right? And I think that part of the issue probably is that before we um, go towards our concealer, we should probably think about color correcting, all right? So I have several products that I use. The best one that I've found so far is by Stilla. And I'm gonna open it up so that you guys can see, all right? Let me take this little lid off so that you can better see the colors, all right? These are all color correcting um, creams and they are all intended to correct a particular issue, whether it's purple veining or um, brown spots that you might have. And then these two here are uh, setting powders, all right? And again, they have various kinds of properties for the different types of of uh, bruising or spots that you might have, all right? So consider investing in camouflaging um, concealers, all right? So color correcting concealers that are out there on the market. I have some by NYX, so I know that they um, have color correcting um, palettes and um, Wet n Wild, I believe, has some as well. The reason I like these is because they're very creamy. They go on very nicely, all right? Also, you might want to consider um, investing in some body makeup, all right? So I have two here. I have the Airbrush Legs by Sally Hansen, okay? And this color is not 100% correct for me, right? I also just purchased by Derma Blend this um, body makeup, all right? Let me try to open it here. I probably should have had this done beforehand. 
but it comes in a tube. It's pretty, um, it's a 3.4 ounce tube and I purchased it for $30 from Amazon. They do have various colors. Uh, I think you can also go on the Derma Blend um, website and they have more colors than what you can find on Amazon, all right? I believe the Derma Blend um, website is a little bit more expensive that, than the Amazon and they will probably charge you um, some kind of shipping. And if you have Amazon Prime, of course, your shipping is um, is free, right? So consider investing in some body makeup, all right? And before you put on your body makeup, you want to go ahead and try to conceal any veining that you might have, all right? So let me put this down and um, I don't have varicose veins. I do have a little bit of spider veins, all right? And I don't have any bruises and I was trying to um, put on some makeup to simulate a bruise, but I'm not sure that that's going to work. So let's go ahead and get started on my varicose, or not my varicose, my spider veins, and I can show you how you can go about concealing those, all right? Let me put my glasses on, and I'm gonna change the angle of the camera, and also I'm gonna try to zoom in, all right? So hold on one second, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I've tried to bring in the camera a little bit closer so that you can see. Um, I was going all around the house trying to get the best lighting, and I think this is about the best that I can do for you guys, all right? So you can see that I have a few spider veins, all right? And they are purplish or bluish in color, all right? And the best color corrector to use for that is this orange color here, all right? It looks pretty dark, right? I always use a little brush, all right? And I go in and I pick up some product, all right? And then I start to work it in, all right? So let me Go in, it looks, looks dark, all right? Don't let it scare you because once you put the makeup on over it, it will work for you. Now, each color in the palette has a, um, a different quality or a different um, purpose to it, okay? And normally, it's if you look at your color wheel, it'll be directly across the color that you're trying to camouflage, or sometimes it's the color right next to it, all right? Hold on. All these videos that I do always go so long, ladies. And you can also, of course, um, use tan tanning um, products, self-tanners. I do have a self-tanning video out there, but I'm afraid that when you go in and um, put the tanning products on, that if you have veining or if you have varicose veins, what will probably happen is you'll still be able to see them through through the um, the tanning solution. All right. Now, my best um, the best products that I find for tanning for me is the this one here. It's called Mind Tan, all right? You put it on, you leave it on for as long as you want to tan. So maybe from one to eight hours, it'll deepen the tan. And then you wash it off with just plain water. You get in under, the, um, under your shower and you wash off the product. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and come in here and try to blend this out as best I can. All right, I hope you guys can see. All right. Okay. I am absorbed in my work. Ladies, take your time, especially if you're going to a special occasion, all right? I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to it. Right? So that it blends in a little bit more with my coloring. All right, and you can see that those um, those veins are starting to disappear a bit. Right. All right. Blend it out, girls, ladies, sorry. I am used to saying that term, girls, and uh, not everyone wants to be called a girl, right? Especially at our age. <laughs> so forgive me, guys. I get myself in trouble sometimes. All right. Okay, so go in with your color corrector first, right? Softening up the edges. Okay. Starting to match a little bit better with my skin color. Right? Of course you think, oh my God, orange. But it'll all be corrected once you put your body makeup on. And, and you can, um, It Cosmetics has a very good concealer, but you have to have just the correct match, right? Because it's not like you're concealing under your, under your eyes, right? you're concealing um, your body, right? So, I really like this Stila product, but there is also a quite an inexpensive product by um, Wet n Wild, and that comes in a little container. It has a little sponge applicator. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try to blend out the edges a little bit. Go in, cover up this little vein that wants to keep showing up here. All right, guys, so you get, you get the general idea, all right? Because if I were to spend time here covering up all these spider veins i would be here for 24 hours and you all know how i'm always running um running long on these videos okay now once i have the veins um color corrected then it's time to use the the body makeup and this is the one that I'm going to use today. I tried this on yesterday. It's a beautiful product. It has a beautiful matte finish to it. Okay, and it's supposed to last 16 hours. It is um, transfer resistant, but if you go on to their website, they uh, recommend that you set the product once you have it on and I'll show you how to do that in a sec all right hold on just a sec let me go get a tool that I forgot to get hold on 
All right, guys, I am back, okay? So um, before I get started uh, with the Derma Blend body makeup, um, I'm just gonna let this get a little bit drier and I'll talk to you about the setting process. Now, they have a setting powder on their website that you can use, but if you have loose setting powders um, already in, in your makeup um, bag, then you can use those, all right? You wanna try to go with a translucent powder if you have one. You can also use baby powder. I use baby powder a lot of times when I want a translucent finish, all right? So you might consider that as well. All right, now Derma Blend recommends that you put a small amount onto your skin and that you use a, uh, a sponge, a beauty blender, and that you stipple it on, okay? So I'm gonna go directly on the skin and I'm gonna start. Now this color isn't 100% for me, all right? But you're gonna be able to see. And in the summertime, all right? In the summertime, you can go darker a shade. I always have a problem finding the correct shade for me. Okay. So you can already see, I hope, let me bring this camera in a little bit closer. You can already see that those spider veins are greatly diminished, all right? And you can use several coats of this if you need to, right? And, you know, they recommend that you let it dry down a little bit before before you move on. So let me go in and add a little bit more. Okay. Now, of course you would do, well, I think you would do this on your entire leg, right? because you would want it all to match in color, okay? I'm just gonna do it here, okay? But you can see that um, those that veining has been greatly reduced by using the, the Derma Blend, the makeup. As I said, Sally Hansen also has a body makeup. This is, they call it a leg makeup, but you can use it all throughout your body. This is more, uh, you're more apt, I think, to have transfer using this product. I, I used this product about a week ago on my legs and um, I followed the instructions and there was a little bit of transfer where I used this pop product yesterday to try it out and I didn't see much transfer, okay? And they also said that you can use a setting spray um, uh, to eliminate some of the transfer that you might get. But I think just the setting powder is good enough, all right? So here we go. Let me go ahead and apply some of that powder. They recommend that you leave the powder on for a little bit. before you brush it off. All right, of course, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. 
but You can see them a little bit, but they are not as noticeable as you would have if you use just a concealer or and no body makeup. Um, you can try, I played around with it a little bit yesterday using the IT Cosmetics um, concealer, but it just showed through. Let's see. It, no, I'm not gonna do it because this is not a good color match for me, all right? So let me go in. Do a little bit more, right? To fine tune it a little bit. And the finish on this um, body makeup is really quite, quite nice. All right, you can just play around with it. This is just a short little video that you would obviously take your time at home, right? Little bit of the loose powder. Brush it off. And I think you'll agree that it is um, that it is greatly reduced. All right. So I hope that this video was useful. Um, color correcting is. Let me move this up so I can talk to you guys directly. Color correcting, of course, is something that um, we can also use for our. Um, face if we have you know before we put on our makeup if we have cir circles under our eyes or any type of age spots I normally only do that if I'm going to go out for an occasion and I also have found that um, using concealer under my eyes does not necessarily work well for me, all right? I have tried many different concealers, many different shades, and um, what happens is no, no matter how thin a layer I put on and how well I try to set that, you have, um, you have a little bit of caking underneath your eyes, all right? I think it's a much nicer look to just put on your makeup. Um, don't worry about concealer because what it does, in my opinion, right? And it might work totally different for you, but for me, it accentuates the lines that I do have on my skin, on the wrinkles that I have underneath my eyes, all right? You might have a totally different experience, right? And in that case, then you would um, you would use um, concealer to conceal any bags that you might have. I don't have a lot of, I don't think, bagging underneath my eyes, but um, I know that sometimes uh, Hereditary causes people to have um, dark circles under their eyes, and in that case, then color correcting is a great option, all right? So before you put on your makeup, go ahead and do your color correcting. If you're gonna use any kind of primers, make sure that whatever primer you use works well with the um, color correctors that you're gonna be using, of course, and um, a little bit at a time so that you don't use too much product and then it'll become more noticeable instead of less noticeable, right? So we wanna correct the problem. We don't want to um, showcase the problem, if you will, all right? So anyway, guys, this is running late, as I always do. Maria, I hope 
I answered your question. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm coming to you from my bathroom. I went around the entire house trying to see what kind of lighting I could get, but this was the best lighting. I can see that it's showing, throwing a little bit of shadows onto my face, but that's because I have the lights up there. But I think you were able to see the leg quite well. Um, it has dried down a little bit. Let me go ahead and flip you guys around and show the leg. You can see, I think, that um, you can see them a little bit, but they're not as noticeable as they were before, all right? So consider body makeup, color correction first. You might wanna play around with concealers. Um, if you have the right shade, then that'll work for you guys, all righty? So I hope you're having a great day, guys. Thanks again for stopping by, and I will be talking to you again real soon. Bye. Oh, God. Bye.